What's going on YouTube? Today in this video, we're going to be testing out this Amazon flash dryer that I got and we're going to be spinning prints and shorts from start to finish. So, now that we got it, I'm not going to tell you guys if it works or not. You're just going to have to watch this video and find out. But today in this video, I do go buy a new flash dryer because mine broke. It totally just broke on me this morning and I had to think fast and go buy this from Facebook Marketplace and the next clip is going to show you exactly where I went and then the car video is kind of messy i wasn't gonna make this video but this is the perfect review video so tune in what's going on youtube my name is bobby Danak, and i am the owner of aesthetic imprints which is a custom apparel printing company specializing in screen printing and today i was gonna print some shorts but the day did not start well i woke up i tried to heat everything up the conveyor dryer was heat up i look at the flash and that thing's just sitting there like nothing it's not doing nothing I'm like, what's wrong with you? I petted it a little bit, nothing happened. It was just dead. So I was like, shit, like, what do I do? I gotta get these shorts and I, I have a whole bunch of orders to do. What do I do? And flash dryers nowadays don't come for another a week or two. So I was, I was just stuck. So I hit up the local marketplace and lucky for me, somebody was selling a DIY system or they, they had a small press, they had a bunch of supplies and this Amazon flash dryer. And you guys know I love this Amazon flash dryer. I mean, that's the one that I use. So it works perfectly fine. There's a lot of people that hate on it, but it 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 gets the job done perfectly. Uh, mine does have a temperature control. This one does not. So I gave them an offer. I came through. I pulled up. It was just it was 40 minutes away. So it was great. I met them. I met Alex. Shout out to you. Thank you for hooking me up with this. He also hooked me up with. Um, some supplies, I got a new heat gun, I got everything. So I was lucky enough to find this conveyor, I mean heat press, no not heat press, um, flash dryer, so, and it was a great price. So I'm overall happy, shout out to you Alex, thank you for hooking this up. Now I'm gonna go home and print, I wasn't even gonna record this video, but now I am, it just put me in a good mood. This is, I feel like this will motivate you all to just not stress over obstacles that come your way because in screen printing or in any business, something will come out, something will come to bug you, something will try to stop you from moving forward, but you just gotta keep moving forward. So let's get going. And I'm back. Here's my old one, it just did not turn on. Every time I turned it on, it would only go to 30 or 25 degrees Celsius, which is absolutely nothing. I was touching it. Now I got this one. This one looks a lot cleaner. It's practically brand new. So let's put this thing to the use and see if it warms up. Look at how cute that looks. They both look the exact same. This one definitely looks newer. It's the one I just got. Look at, as you can see, mine is all dusty. And here we are. As you can see, the pipes are red and it's heating up. This gun, I'm trying it out. He actually, Got this from the same seller, but as you can see, it's definitely heating up. Yup. All right, now that that flash dryer is heating up, it's, it seems like it's working good. It looks so clean there, so it's new. I'm gonna register the screen to get it all ready. What you wanna do is just load it up onto the press, cover the corners with tape so that no ink gets out, and then register it. And now, here's a close-up. You just want to tape up the corners, like I did on this edge. You just want to do all four corners. Now, you may be wondering why I have the same two designs. Klein actually does an ink swap from white to black, so I said, why not just do it like this, so I don't have to swap the ink. I can just flip it. Next step I'm gonna do is get this registered onto my leg palette. Use micro registrations to get it straight. Now 
do a minor tweak. And there we go, that's centered. So I would realistically want to bring the shorts all the way up to the corner and that will be the perfect print. Now another thing I'm going to do is add some water-based tack to my palettes. So, oh my God, that is way too much. Do not do that. Good thing that was on camera. I don't even think I can salvage this stuff. Wow. Silly me. Damn. Alright, let's just spread it now. Whatever. Try to get some of it off. Try to pick up as much as I can because you don't need a lot of this, you just need a little bit. But there we go. Now all you do is heat that up and it sticks up. Now I just heated it up under the flash. Wow, this flash driver, this flash dryer, I said driver, is actually doing wonders right now. It's working perfectly. Look at that. All right, now I got it all ready, inked up. Let's do a little test print. Good. Now let's see how this flash dryer does. I'll give it 10 seconds. See if it dries it the way I need it to dry. It hasn't dried yet. Maybe I need to lower the distance for this flash. I'll give you guys an angle of what I'm doing. I want to see how it it. It's reaching like 220 degrees, which is more than enough for a quick flash. So let's see. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the first flash is always the warm up, which I've noticed. But let me explain what I mean. All right, guys, now this video is just gonna turn into a review video because why not? Um, I've been using this, if you're new here and you don't know me, I've been using one of these flash drives that you saw the old one for like four to five years now. Now, people ask me why I don't upgrade to a nicer one, a better one, because there's no issues with this. I'm just now getting an issue four or five years later where that one broke down, which I don't blame it, it broke down. It's normal. I mean, these are like 200 bucks new. But, and this looks perfect. So, and it's working for me perfectly right now with the volume that I do. Um, the way, if, if if your stuff does not heat up to the way that you want, because this one does not have a temperature control, or mine did, just, if you, the more you raise it from your palate, the higher it is, the lower the temperature is gonna hit. So it's gonna dry um, slower, but the closer the flash dryer is to your palate, the quicker it's gonna dry, the hotter it's gonna be. And that's why there's adjusters, there's two bolts there to raise it and lift it. That is exactly what that is for, where if it is not drying at the speed that you want, you want it to be a little quicker, you lower this a little bit. If you want it to take its time more, you raise it up. That's my quick tip for you all. Now, let me stop chatting and do the second print on this. And as you can see, that printed great. So let's throw it in the conveyor jar and see how it dries. Now that test print turned out great, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually do it on the actual shorts. So let's see how this goes. The light just gave out, I'm sorry. I need a little bit more tack on these for sure, but let's see how this goes. So flash dryer under the new flash dryer, the Amazon flash dryer. It's the 18 by 18. Let's see how this goes. Look at that. It's working. And 
Wow, look at these shorts. Turned out perfect. Look at that. Clean. That is clean. So here's how I did the ink swap. This this white part was over here, but I just swapped it and now I can do the four inch print with the black side on this side and the white on this side. As you saw, those shorts came out perfect. And now it's time for a review, the final say on if this the machine is actually even good or not. Well, this wouldn't be a proper review if I didn't put it to the test for a couple weeks and not just one day. So the last clip, it's been a couple weeks since I recorded that and I've been working with this flash dryer for a couple weeks now and it's been doing perfect. I literally have no issues, no complaints about this flash dryer. It's perfect. I mean, I've been using it for four to five years. As you saw, the other one that I had has been used for four to five years because I started screen printing about five years ago and that's the flash dryer I got and I had no issues with it up until now. So five, four to five years out of that flash dryer is pretty amazing. And for the price of less than 200 bucks, you really can't beat it. That thing is really nice. Now, I know a lot of people will probably say, no, why get that cheap one? Why why even get that? A lot of screen printers might even make fun of it. But I know a good product when I see one. And this product, it's actually good. So I don't care what anybody says. I use this thing because I have no issues with it. Now, of course, I do want to get a proper flash dryer in the future or now soon when the time comes a bigger one for sure so I can do bigger prints. But this 18 by 18 flash dryer is literally perfect. I have no complaints with it. I've been using it since I started and I just got this one for a steal. So there's no complaints. Less than 200 bucks. I got it right here on Amazon. Amazon Prime. Literally $156.99 and it's Prime. You really can't beat that. What's the worst that's going to happen? You don't like it. Well, you could just return it because it's Amazon Prime. Within 30 days, you can return it. If it's not damaged or anything, just return it and you'll be perfect. So it, it, there's literally no risk in this. And for $156, really can't beat it. Now, I see a lot of questions. A lot of you reach out to me asking me what equipment you should get, what flash dryer you should get, or even if you should even get a flash dryer or just use a heat gun. My opinion, get a flash dryer, throw the heat gun in the trash because heat gun is just... There's literally, I just don't see the point of it because a heat gun, you can't really cure the shirts. And if you do, it's gonna take forever. Let's say you're doing a hundred shirts. Are you really gonna take a gun and heat cure each and every shirt a hundred times? That's just crazy with this thing. it will be a lot quicker. I highly recommend you get a flash dryer. It's well worth the money. A, a heat gun is like 50 bucks. Put another hundred on that and you just save up. I guarantee you it'll be worth it. Just get the flash dryer a lot better than using a heat gun this flash dryer is amazing it's definitely aesthetic imprints approved me bob approved i love this flash dryer i've been using it for five years now so it is stamped i love it also in this video i'm actually going to link this direct link right in the description go ahead and purchase this flash dryer because at the end of the day time is money and using a heat gun just takes more time this will be quicker this will be more efficient this will be more professional so go ahead and get this time is money Go make some money. Think of it like this. You're just $156 away from making your life easier, from curing shirts to even screen printing your own t-shirts. Come on now. Come on. Go out and get it. But at the end of the day, I'm just documenting my journey as a screen print shop owner. And this is what works for me. And I'm just sharing my two cents out here. Um, for anyone that, a lot of you even asked me. So I'm just putting a video out, sharing my two cents about this flash dryer and using the heat gun. Throw the heat gun out. Get this. It's my opinion. Um, and yeah but either way i'm not saying this is gonna make your life easier you're still gonna have to grind you're still gonna have to go get clients you're still gonna have to do a lot of things but no grind no glory it all comes with the game thank you all for tuning into this review video of what works for me this is the flash dryer that i approve of and i like and i'm just sharing with you guys there's a link in the description below like i said go ahead and grab that if you're new here go ahead and smash the subscribe button follow us on instagram at aesthetic imprints Check out these videos for full behind the scenes of screen printing from start to finish, and I'll see you in the next one.